Preconditions and follow-up actions can now be configured in the web editor for a project or team area. Preconditions and follow-up actions are not new functionality. Support has been in the Eclipse client in previous releases, but it is new to the web client. For the web editor, we've taken a fresh look with an emphasis on usability, so if you've worked with operation behavior in the Eclipse client before, be prepared for a surprise. In case you aren't familiar with them, preconditions can be configured to run before a given operation and may prevent the operation from being run. Follow-up actions run after a given operation has completed. For this demo, our scenario is that a member of our team, Joe the intern, has been writing test scripts that are terrible. We will configure a precondition that will prevent interns from saving test scripts without approvals from other team members. Here we have the web editor for our project area. On the left is the new precondition and follow-up actions tab. This project already has a number of them configured. Each row in this table represents a set of preconditions and follow-up actions that are scoped by what operation they apply to, which role they apply to, and when they apply. We want to see if any preconditions are configured for an intern to save a test script. As we can see, there is already one precondition configured. I can click the Edit button to get more details. This precondition is not the one that we're interested in, but note that it's there. This will be important later. To see what other preconditions are available, I can click the Add button, and I see that a required approvals precondition is available. However, adding it here will make it apply to the entire project area, and we only want it to apply to our team area. So we'll navigate to the team to customize its process. Again, we have the new Preconditions and Follow-up Actions tab. For this team area, none are configured. To add a new one, we can select Configure, Create New Configuration, choose the operation we are interested in, choose the role we are interested in, and optionally choose when we want it to apply. We could choose an iteration type or a specific iteration, but for our purposes we want it to apply always. Now again, if we click Add, we will find the required approvals precondition. This precondition requires additional configuration, which is found here on the right. We want to add a rule to require that a test script that Joe writes be approved by one other test team member. An important thing to clarify now is that when customizing in a team area, the team's configuration for an operation, role, and time period is a complete override of the corresponding configuration in its parent project area. Therefore, if we saved now, the existing precondition that we asked you to note earlier for intern saving test scripts will no longer be run. To ensure that it continues to run, we need to copy the precondition from the project area down to this team area. To do that, we can select Configure, Copy Existing Configuration, choose the parent project area and the configuration that we're interested in. This was, will allow us to merge the existing precondition from the project area with the new one in the team area that we've just added. And now that we've done so, we can go ahead and save. We have just successfully customized the save test script operation for interns in our team area. Joe will no longer be able to save terrible test scripts without a team member's approval. In the 401 release, you will only be able to work with preconditions and follow-up actions in the web in the Rational Quality Manager application. This is a significant enhancement for an application like RQM, which is primarily accessed in a web browser. Most of the user interface you saw is provided by the Jazz Process Framework. However, some of the UI to customize preconditions is contributed by RQM. Applications must opt in to permit the editing of preconditions and follow-up actions in the web. Going forward, 
This support may be available on the web in more applications.